Hey everybody, my name is Annie St. Cyr. Today we're going to talk about some of the basics of exporting video. I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're in a scramble to get your edit out the door, so let's dive right in. Here we are in Premiere Pro. My son and I are avid train enthusiasts and we are currently thinking about starting a YouTube channel. This is a little intro I made using the Rocket Stock Creator Pack, so I'm ready to export it now. I'm going to go ahead and set my endpoint and my out point. This is a really good habit to get into because I know as busy editors, sometimes we chunk stuff here to the end of the timeline and we think we're gonna use it later and we never do. And if you just export without setting your in and out points, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your video and that's gonna look great. It's gonna be followed by about 10 seconds of black and then some random clips are gonna play at the end. You don't want that. I'm gonna press Command E. If you are uncomfortable with keyboard shortcuts, that's not a problem. There is another way to get to this menu. Just go to File, Export, Media, and you will be all set. This is the export window. Um, I know it seems a little intimidating. There's lots of stuff in here to change, lots of tabs, and it can be a little daunting. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the container. That's gonna be these characters after the period in your file name. Sometimes you'll see .mov, .mp4, .flv, .wmv, definitely some more popular than others. The next thing we wanna talk about is the codec. So codec stands for coder decoder, and basically that is the way of parsing information and getting file sizes smaller. A container is kind of like a bucket, and a codec is what you choose to put into that bucket. You really don't wanna use an uncompressed format unless you're going to take your file into another NLE and use it for something else. This intro is definitely a good example of something that you would want to keep uncompressed because I will use this in the future on um, our episodes. So, but let's just pretend like I'm gonna export this for YouTube right now. I went ahead and did a quick Google search here to see what the current YouTube recommended settings are. I always advise you go to the various social media platforms that you are gonna upload videos to and just check what their current standards are because things change. This stuff is ever evolving. It's never a waste of time to spend 30 seconds and check to see what your platform recommends. YouTube wants an MP4 container, we talked about that, an H.264 codec, and then AAC audio. Usually you don't have to concern yourself too much with audio export settings, they just kind of default the way that they need to be, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it in this case. Okay, so we're back in Premiere, we're getting ready to export for YouTube. The most important thing to do, step one, is name your file. I'm pretty good with this name, I just wanted to add final to the end because I've done a lot of work on this, I've showed it to people, there's been versions, and this is the final one. So I'm gonna pop it here in this final folder. YouTube wanted an MP4 container. That is what I have here using the default H.264 setting in Premiere. Looks good, that's exactly what YouTube wanted. So we've got the AAC audio format, um, we've got the MP4 container, and we have the H.264 codec. So we are good to rock and roll. I'm just gonna press export. Okay, cool, so now that that's finished, let's go ahead and take a look at our export. Here we go. Loves trains. Okay, that looks pretty good to me considering all that footage was shot on a cell phone camera kind of on the fly. I'm really happy with that result. The, the graphics looks really crisp. Okay, so now let's pop into Final Cut and kind of see how this process happens in this program. It's a little different as always hopping between NLEs. There's gonna be some differences, but you know, the key principles are still the same. I have this little clip of these guys riding through the streets. So Final Cut, you can press Command E. If you're uncomfortable with hotkeys, that's not a problem. You can get there another way. File, share, and there are a multitude of presets here. Final Cut's a little different from Premiere in that way. So you can choose one of these and they'll probably be pretty solid for you. But if you want a little more control, you can click Master File here. Info here is where you can add some metadata tags. And then here in Settings is where you kind of get a little more control. Generally, for the web, we're just gonna use H.264. It's just a good codec. The files size stays really small, but the quality is really high. I'm cool with all that. I'm going to click next. All right, cool. So we have the naming screen. I want to just drop this file onto my desktop. So I'm good with that location there. And I'm just going to name this SSTK clip and uh, we should be good to go with that. Save. 
and then you're gonna see that Final Cut is going to do its thing. We get a little spinny rainbow and a little status bar and it looks like we're already done, so let's go check that out. Yeah, that looks really good. Nice, crisp video. You're not getting a lot of pixelation and the file size is pretty small, so H.264 for the win. Those are some of the basics of exporting video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys and gals next time.